So here you have a video of the latest walking stick. It's made of a wormy butternut, beautiful deep color. Have a little topper there, beautiful handle, nice shape to it, good for the hand. We did another uh, Celtic weave. Slimmed it all down to a little rubber foot. This one uh, did a little stamp on it, little initials. Color came out beautiful. Made this out of square stock. Didn't have it, uh, didn't find it out of a stick, so that's why it's perfectly straight. This was uh, commissioned for a client down in uh, Louisiana. So this is going to be a fun one. Stay tuned. Hope you enjoy it. And uh, stick around for another beautiful walking stick. So we're looking at... The next walking stick. It's a little different because it's not actually from a stick. I've got this rough cut uh, eight quarter piece of butternut. What I'm doing is just dressing this side here. It was a uh, like I said rough lumber so I'm planing one side smooth and then we'll rip it down on the table saw to approximately two by two inches. A little over five feet long we're working away at it, so uh, this one's going to turn out pretty nice. So we ripped down two pieces so far out of that, and I think this one's going to work out. It's about uh, inch and seven eighths square. Uh, length is sixty and a half inches long, and uh, just beautiful. It's butternut, a couple of wormholes through it, a little tiny, they're not huge. Uh, we'll see what, what comes out of it at the end. Worst case, we fill a few of these up with uh, a nice black epoxy afterwards. But what we first have to do is get the square down to uh, an octagon. What we're going to do, um, where is it, octagon? Sept anyway, we're going to be cutting the corners off each one. Let me show you how to do All that. Right. So the first thing we got to do is you find center. Basically, you just join the two corners together. So easy enough to do. Nice. Alright, and what you're going to do is we have to measure from the center to the corner. So, I use a combination square, set it to that distance, and then from each side, mark that distance. I'll do it just for one corner here, so you can see what I'm uh, what I'm doing. What happens is when you join these two marks together, and then let me do it for one more side here. This is the same distance as that and across. So what you'll do is set this once, cut all the corners on your table saw, and you'll make a, a perfect octagon. It'll be a little bit easier to round this off. So it's in the rough shape. Started laying out. Before we round it over, I wanted to lay out. So here's going to be where the handle is. It's going to be eight inches long. Going to leave two inches. And then here's the 18 inches where the uh, Celtic knot basket weave pattern is going to go. And from here down, we're going to taper it. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to start rounding it over and tapering the bottom section right here. <laughs>
just a little tip as we're rounding this over is uh, made myself a little template with a one and three quarter inch diameter uh, circle here. and uh, you just keep placing that over the section you want to make and uh, it helps me as a as a guide to know make sure you're not taking off too much at different sections I want to keep this diameter relative straight where we're going to put the design uh, so shows you where you have to refine things a little bit little tip So we've now laid out the pattern for the Celtic knot. I will post a link uh, because we went over it in the first Celtic knot video about how to divide up this uh, the circumference evenly into eight separate parts. I'm going to link that first video right now. So that way we can uh, we can just move ahead and I don't have to repeat to everyone what we've already gone over in detail.
So I think we've uh, finalized what we're going to do. Have a nice little topper, little design on top. See here the nice shape for the handle. That came out nice, nice place for the hand. Carved out another uh, Celtic weave or uh, Celtic knot. That came out beautiful. Have a little detail here. Trim down all the way. A uh, little rubber foot's going to go here. Have my initials put on. And a little design, just three notches put in. So what we'll do now is uh, apply some uh, tea coil and watch this darken up. I think this is going to come out beautiful. So we're going to put on a little uh, Watco tea coil. Oh, beautiful coloring. Yeah, that came out nice.